New as a company started in 2014 with the idea that we wanted to build a global startup, tapping into the talent distributed around the world to change the experiences we all have with vehicles. We embarked on a project to upgrade an existing supercar to incorporate additional technology elements that would allow it to drive without a driver behind the wheel. Obviously the EP9 is an extremely sophisticated vehicle to begin with, so we were able to tap into a lot of that technology and augment it with high precision inertia measurement units, GPS antennas and additional compute power so that it could replay with extremely high precision a track at high speeds. While I drive the reference lab, the car is learning everything that I'm doing. We try to find the track limits with GPS, and so we go out and map what we know is the inside edge of the track and the outside edge of the track, and we have those as visual cues in our data. And then what we do is we go out and drive a lap so the car can actually learn and see where the human would drive the car. And from that data, try to as best match what I'm doing with the actual car's position. speed very capable car. It's an amazing car, it's a beast if I may say, and there were many associated challenges with making sure that it's able to follow the track that we want it to follow. When you calculate commands every 2.5 milliseconds, you have to make sure from one calculation to the next the transition is really smooth and we don't provide very aggressive maneuvers at very high speeds. We were trying to push the limits of the vehicle and trying to push the limits of our software and we found those limits and as part of that we went into an oversteer condition and the oversteer condition just caused us to spin out. We buckled down, we pulled the car in, we found replacement parts, we had people fly in with spare parts and we got the car out the next afternoon. sleepless for four months, pushing themselves and pushing the technology and the vehicle to its limits.